New tonight, a troubling question on the minds of many people in Tampa. Is there a serial killer on the loose? The tension is so bad, the police chief went as far as to address a large crowd and tell them that everyone is a suspect. I'm angrier than I've ever been in my life. A grieving father asking for help. I need that Seminole Heights community to stand up, and I need them to point out, you know, who that man is. From his home in South Carolina, Kenny Hoffa talked about the daughter he lost October 11th as she was walking to a friend's house. She was a good person because my daughter made a difference in this world. I just hated that someone took that from the world and me. He says Monica made a huge difference in her mom's world, too. She was a godsend to her mother. You know, she would, her mother being deaf, she would, she would interpret for her mom. Monica's body was cremated over the weekend. On Monday, Hoffa picked up her ashes. Nothing's going to help me get through this. I just want to go look in his eyes. Most of all, we need to identify him and get him off the street so that nobody else has to have their daughter killed needlessly by some random guy on the street. There have been three murders in 11 days. Victims were shot at or near bus stops on the same street in Tampa's Seminole Heights neighborhood. Tampa's police chief was blunt at a community meeting last night. There's a very good likelihood that someone in this room knows who's doing it. This pains me to tell you that if you're out there walking alone, that you're either a suspect or a potential victim. Tampa's police chief says the neighborhood will be flooded with officers, that he would also be on patrol. Police have handed out light bulbs to homeowners to keep their front porch lights on, and city crews are fixing street lights that are out. The goal is to get rid of any dark spots where someone could hide.